Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be looking at whether or not two vectors are parallel. So first of all, we need to know what it means for vectors to be parallel. So let's just say we got the vector v here. Um, essentially, it means they point either in the same direction or exactly the opposite direction of each other. So for example, 2 times v would just be taking v and multiplying by 2 the magnitude. So the length is multiplied by 2, but the direction doesn't change. Negative v, on the other hand, would change the direction, but it would just point in the exact opposite direction. So they would still be parallel, but they would just be pointing in exact opposite direction. So essentially we can boil this down to um, two vectors being parallel if one is a scalar multiple of the other. So let's look at an example. Are these vectors parallel? So for part A, we have two vectors here. We want to know if they're parallel. Part B, we have two vectors. We want to know if they're parallel. What does that mean? So solution for part A would start off by saying, okay, does a constant C exist where the first vector is equal to C times the second vector? If such a constant does exist, then yes, the vectors are parallel. So let's equate the first component, 6, with negative 9 times C. The second component, negative 2, should be equal to 3 times C. And the third component, 4, should be equal to negative 6 times C. Because when you multiply a vector by a constant, you just multiply each component by that constant. All right, so we've just set up the equations that we talked about. We get C, and the first one is negative 6 over 9. Now, if we reduce that, we get negative 2 over 3. In the second equation, we get C is equal to negative 2 over 3 directly. In the last equation, we get C is equal to negative 4 over 6, which again reduces to negative 2 over 3. So yes, the vectors are parallel, and c is equal to negative 2 thirds. So if we didn't get the same c value for each one, then that would tell us that the vectors are not parallel. So let's look at the second example. All right, so in our second example here, we've got the first equation, 2 would equal c, so 2 equals c. The second equation, 1 is equal to 1 half times c. So Look at these so far, these look pretty good. Like the first one tells us c equals 2, the second one tells us that c equals 2, but the last one, let's look at 3 equals 2c. The last one would tell us that c is equal to 3 halves. So c is equal to 3 halves, the first one tells us that c equals 2, and the second one tells us that c equals 2. So no, not parallel, because the c is not the same in each case. So there is no constant that can multiply this vector to give me this vector. So these would be vectors that point in somewhat opposite directions. These are not parallel. So that's how we find out whether or not vectors are parallel using the most basic idea of what a vector is and scalar multiples.